Hello there, so in this tutorial we will continue working on the models that were missing in order to complete the full model of our rune. So let's begin. Right, so I know that I need a chair for this rune, so let's go to the top view so I can create a chair. This is going to be like a circular chair, so I'm going to use a cylinder and then I'm going to press here to create a cylinder. Um, so it's going to be around this size, maybe in this, it could be something like this, I think, uh, maybe a little bit less, something like that. And then the corner could be just one and the position, it could be maybe, yeah, something like that. I think that works. Then um, going from the top, I'm just going to create a couple of cubes, which is going to be the legs. Um, so here, for example, I can create a cube here. Let's change the color so it's more easy to see. And that seems okay. Then um, I'm going to press Command D to duplicate, put the cube in the other side, and then I'm going to select the two of the cubes by holding Shift and then press Command D again. And then uh, I'm going to rotate these 90 degrees. If you hold Shift, you can uh, snap into 90 degrees. And then um, I can select all of these cubes again. And so what I want is to rotate these cubes like um, I think 45 degrees will be fine. And then I want to place the cubes below and I'm going to change the size in, I guess it's going to be in this C direction, something like that. Perhaps even a little more. Um, yeah, let's just just increase there and maybe a little bit of roundness right there okay so I want to rotate this to be five degrees and five degrees and five degrees and then here for this one also five degrees so let's just move this a little bit to the bottom so we can see better our items in here so I'm going to select all of them with chief I'm going to move it a little bit to the top so we can see better and here maybe this could be maybe something like 85 so we don't need that much intersection and let's just increase a little now the, the color of this so we can see better okay so that seems to be a little better but let's just make sure that we are uh, centering this in the right position so i'm going to change the opacity here just to make sure that we are in the right position you can see that it's a little bit um, upset so now let's go back to the position so the opposite idea that we needed before all right so now we have a chair so let's make sure that we set all of the objects here in the ladder and in, in the outliner and then we can press command d it's going to be our chair all right let's just maybe move it a little to this position here i realize that actually the, the table needs to be a little uh, longer so let's just um press uh command alt shift and then let's select the table Let's increase the size a little. Let's see this from the top. I think something like this should work. And then let's select these objects in here and let's just move them. So, and then let's also make this a little bigger. I think this actually needs to be a little bigger. And we can make the plants, which are all of these cubes in here. Um, we can also make them bigger, I think. Something like this. Yeah, a little more exaggeration that works. All right, so uh, now we need to create more details in here. So we actually need a couple of items in here. One of them is a lamp. So let's see, we need to create a lamp. So I'm going to start by creating another cylinder here and it's going to be something like this. And then I'm going to change the size for this. The way I'm going to make this brighter so we can see it properly. And then uh, what I can do is that I'm going to press S so we can center in this object and then um, I'm going to duplicate this object to be something like this and then by pressing Shift and Alt we can scale this and then we can move this a little bit more like this we can increase the, the Y let's make it a little smaller actually it needs to be something like this and then finally we duplicate this again and then now we make it bigger, but something like this. And actually needs to be a little bigger than that. So let's just try to shape this in a way that makes sense. Maybe less in here, 
a lid and then so um i'm just going to create like a little cone in here so it's gonna be like uh this and then let's increase the size again so it needs to be a little bigger and okay, something like this i think that should be enough for for a lamp so let's uh create a group for this that should be a lamp something like there Maybe let's make it smaller all right so the concept of this room is uh art right so they're supposed to be living someone that's an artist so i need to build a painting let term so I think I can use a couple of cubes to create something like that. So let me just first start by making a few cubes there in here, right? So very small cubes actually, but we need to increase um, the size a little bit. So it's gonna be something like this. Perhaps maybe that's too much, something like that. I think that's a little better. And then let's duplicate this one like this and now let's just change this to be maybe you know 10 degrees and maybe this one is also 10 degrees and let's duplicate it again and let's uh, right click and reset rotation so we can put this one to be uh, somewhere like this I think and then let's uh, reduce the size in this direction so it's gonna be holding basically Let's duplicate it again and now this is gonna be our canvas so this needs to be a little less um, deep so let's just put something like that and so now that we have all of these uh, objects in here I know that we need um, this object to also have a little uh, like a tear lip right so it's gonna be something like this and I'm going to change this to be minus 90. So it needs to be right in the middle. So let's make it a little brighter so we can see what we're doing. So it's gonna be right in the middle. And then uh, it's gonna be in an angle. And also it's not gonna be like full. It's gonna be more like somewhere like this. Um, let's make it a little elevated for now because we're going to change the, the orientation of this as well. And then uh, let's duplicate it again. <laughs> Actually, let's duplicate this one this time because we already have the orientation and let's make this uh, something like that. And uh, maybe this could be like eight by eight. And this is gonna be holding here uh, between all of these. And this is supposed to be, again, let's just change this to be something like this so we can probably see. And this is supposed to be holding a few things in here. So yeah, this is going to be basically just uh, touching this at some point here in the top. So it should be something like this, I think. Um, yeah, that should be, that should be fine, I believe. Yeah. Okay, now that we have all of these uh, elements, we can select all of them and then uh, we can we can group them and we can change the orientation a little as well something like that i believe and actually maybe something like this and they are going to be like that so now uh what we can do is that we can create another group here and then we can rotate this uh, like this and then we can move it to this position so now we have something like this and if we want to adjust the rotation we can do it so without affecting the other object so I think maybe we can adjust the rotation just a little bit command out to select only this object change the position move it a little right there and then uh, we can just rotate this one just to move this one here that should be fine and of course let's just add like a one uh, unit of roundness to all of these um, cubes that we created here so this should be maybe like one uh, so they all look a little round so it's a little better so yeah that should be that should be a lot better actually all right so now that we have our object there let's think about what else we want in this scene right so i think that i want something like this pop in here let's just duplicate this pop um let's just command x and command uh, B to paste it but this part I want it to be in here because I want maybe some uh, kind of like brushes 
to be there and I'm going to change the scale. I also need to change these um, and double click here so we can change the shape and then uh, let's just reduce all of these and make sure that we set all of this point in here so we can then I'm going to click here to move everything to the bottom then click on the little dot holding shift so we can make everything smaller and yeah maybe like that and then I'm going to create another another line there so we can have like more uh, sharpness right there in the top in the bottom let's increase our division again now we have a little pop there um, in which we can place some maybe some brushes or something for now it's gonna be empty all right so I feel like we need like more details here about our bore so this should be maybe using like a round corner something like a or something like that I also think we need like some depth so let's just put like something like a four let's change this to a phone lighting so it can receive light let's also put here something like two or maybe one and two here and uh, I want to have like a little floating objects in here so this is gonna be uh, yeah, something like that in which you have like some floating objects that are going over the place um, Like this food was some sort of information happening right there Okay, so it's gonna be something like that. I think that's fine Two floating objects um, And then um, for this as well, we want uh, a little bit of extrusion Let's just change this to font and then a little bit of extrusion here um, We can actually duplicate this and make it smaller and maybe it has something like this and we can remove the extrusion maybe make it a little bit more bright then put it there so this is going to be like some sort of frame for another perhaps uh, painting or something and we can also make it a little less as well something like this and uh, i think i want the same for this actually so it's going to be uh, and just fun and perhaps just like four or something and yeah just duplicate it again make it a little brighter and then remove the solution and just you know making something that there that makes sense yeah so it's also gonna be like some some frames all right so we see you see like looks like we have like a bunch of the objects in place uh we just need like more details right um i know that we also want to have like some objects in here so i'm gonna place um a couple of things in here let's assume like for example this could be like some sort of like uh like a cutting or drawing area here so let's also increase the extrusion be something like four um maybe like font here this is going to be like a bright color and maybe we can increase the corner to be something like um eight and yeah something like that should work or this is going to use like an overlay i think for this one it's going to be something like that in here um so actually this one should be more like it's like a, a rotator or something like it's uh, elevated so we can have something like this it's like a, an elevated um board and then uh, I can use uh, a couple of objects later to kind of like create the elevation. All right, so I'm going to add a little more detail. And after that, I'm going to start working on the colors. So uh, let me just maybe duplicate these objects in here to this side, because I actually want to do something very similar on this, like a very small detail there. Um, so it should be something small like this. Um, yeah that should work for now it should work maybe this could be a little smaller and then um, for here i want this to be maybe a less extrusion than this maybe three and maybe it should be like 0.5 i think that's gonna work maybe there too so that's it should be fine and uh looking at this from the top i want to have like a couple of objects there just to make sure that we had something that makes sense. So I'm going to create a couple of cubes here. Um, so they're gonna be like the base for this object. Right, so it's gonna be less, something like this. Um, they're gonna be basically there. And I'm just going to maybe change this to be uh, like darker so I can see it. Um, maybe a round corner of maybe something like two or just one. Yeah, that works. And then, um, Duplicate, Command D, 
rotate the 90 degrees holding shift so you can have like a snap rotation and then um, holding shift again here so we can create this, this part of the base and just make it a little smaller and that should work then you can select the two of the objects actually let's make this this one here um, just a little smaller and then select the two of them command D and then move to the other side make sure that it is in the actual side in the actual position so it's gonna be somewhere around there and then select all of them and plus the table or the surface press command G to create a group and then this is gonna be um, like dragon surface all right so I just need to add a little more objects that I think that would be good to have so I'm going to create a cube here but it's not gonna be like an actual cube it's gonna be more like a you know like a previous uh, painting assuming that this is the room of a painter it could be maybe a couple of paintings in the room so let's just look back to the front just make sure that we have something that kind of like in the right position so yeah that should work and let's put it there maybe a little less like that yeah something like that should work and let's uh, maybe put another one in here like you know some actually let's put it maybe in this play in this side in here so it's like another one in this side um so Let's just maybe reset the rotation for this for, for a second. And then maybe rotate 90 degrees. And then uh, let's place it somewhere here, right? Uh, that should be that should be fine. Yeah. Something like that I think should work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now that I have more details and everything seems to be taking more shape, so let's see how we can build all the materials and the lighting in the next tutorial. Alright, bye bye.